Hi, I'm Ski Oakenfull at Point Blank Online. I'm a producer, composer and keyboard player and I've worked with bands and artists like Incognito, The Bays and Joe Negro. And you're watching Electronic Music Composition. In the years since we've launched this series, we've been inundated with requests for more tracks to analyse and we've loved your suggestions. This video is an exclusive preview of a brand new course you can enjoy at Point Blank Online to take your skills further. We've called it EMC2, so head on over to pointblankonline.net for more details. So in the last video we looked at the musical elements of this track by Major Laser called Get Free. And one of the sounds was this synth sound I'm going to play to you now. which is used throughout the track, not just in that point, but also uh, underneath the vocal as well. So in the video, I uh, tried to recreate this sound and I managed to do it in Ableton using uh, the analog and some effect as well. So um, I'm going to go through that from scratch now. I'll just quickly play you um, the sound that I, I ended up with. And uh, I actually assigned uh, this controller knob here to affect the frequency cutoff. which is kind of what happens in the track as well. So let's get going. Uh, I'm going to drag over an analog sound to a new MIDI track I've got set up here. Here we go, this is just the default sound. So we're going to start off with oscillator one. We're going to make sure that the shape is a uh, sawtooth, which is what we've got here. And um, I'm also going to put the sub level up, sub oscillator to about my 77 should be fine. We're then going to shoot over to the filter section, we're going to turn it on, we're going to make sure that the uh, we're set to this one here, the low pass uh, 12. There we go and uh, we're going to put the frequency cut off to around 10 o'clock and then the, f the resonance up maybe to, I don't know, around here, that's at the 44 or something. Cool, and then we're going to go over to the amp section and just look at this uh, ADSR envelope. Uh, I'm going to put the sustain up to one, the attack, I don't want it to have such a kind of hard attack, I'm going to take that off a little bit, uh, maybe around here, around 25, 24, 25, oh, it's just gone a bit too much there, there we go. And then the release, don't want there to be so much of a tail on that, so we'll bring that down to about 30, yeah, about 30 milliseconds, that'll do. Cool, now the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to turn the LFO on. And um, what we want to do is get this LFO affecting the cutoff frequency. Um, so I'm going to turn it on first, I'm going to then switch it uh, to tempo sync and we're going to set the rate to uh, sixteenths. There we go, so that's on now. We're then going to shoot back to uh, the filter section and you can see here uh, this frequency modulation section here, we've got this uh, LFO1 setting and we're basically assigning that LFO1 to the cutoff frequency. So I'm going to pull that right up to four there and you can see straight away that's working, which is really good. Um, but there's a bit more work to do on that. Uh, I'm now going to go back to this LFO section and you can see that the, the wave that we're using is a sine wave. Now if we, select, if we set that to a triangle wave, see it's sounding pretty different and then we go to the width and we set that to 100 and suddenly you can hear that really kind of nice sharp attack that we've got there. One thing you might notice is that every, as I'm hitting the key, it's not always starting at the same point in that uh, waveform, LFO waveform. So if we uh, click on the retrig button here, you can see that every time I uh, hit the note, it's always starting at exactly the same point. So it's got a nice kind of attack to it. Um, so cool, we've set that uh, working which is really good. I'm now going to go back to this filter section and we can actually make this uh, filter a little bit fatter by uh, looking at the filter drive. I quite like this, this uh, asymmetrical one. 
You can hear it just, it just makes it a, a little bit fatter. I'm then going to go over to the volume pane and we're just going to try to beef up the sound uh, a little bit more. So first of all, I'm going to set the voices uh, to monophonic, that's the polyphony. I don't want there to be any tail. Um, I don't want to be able to play any chords. We're just going to play um, single notes here. But uh, I'm going to put the unison on and that's basically going to double up the sound. You can see straight away we get this kind of phasing effect. So I'm going to detune these oscillators. Here we go, I'm going to set that to, yeah, around here. And you can hear we've got a really nice kind of fat sound. I can hear it's kind of maybe clipping a little bit, so I'm just going to take this amp level down. Give us a bit of headroom. I'm also going to put this glide on. This adds this really nice kind of gliding effect when we go between uh, notes on the keyboard. Should be able to hear that. Just going to set that to, yeah, it's around 53. Um, so cool. Uh, now I want to try to make this uh, even bigger. So I'm going to turn on uh, oscillator 2 now. And I'm actually going to put this an octave up here. You should be able to hear that. We've got the same wave, same saw wave. Um, I'm also going to detune this a little bit. I'm going to detune the two uh, oscillators a bit like we did with the uh, in unison mode as well. So I'm going to put that down, I don't know, minus maybe uh, 0 0.06. Also detune up the oscillator one as well. So it creates a bit of a chorus effect there. Um, so going back to oscillator 2, I'm going to put the sub level up as well. I'm also going to make sure that filter 1 is assigned to uh, this oscillator. Um, I'm also going to bring a level down of that a little bit, I think. Cool. And finally, let's have a look at the uh, noise oscillator as well. I think we can add a bit of that. I think that's a bit too much at the moment. Let's bring that right down. Maybe, yeah, minus 23 dB should be fine. And again, uh, assign filter 1 to this. Cool, so I think that's pretty close to the sound. That's the kind of thing we want. Um, and if we just adjust this filter, filter cutoff here, it's working really nicely. So um, let's try to spice up this sound a bit. Uh, I'm going to use the Ableton audio effect. So I'm going to start off with a chorus. I'm just going to drag this chorus here. Set that to 100%. You can hear that really widens the sound, which is great. Um, I'm then going to use a reverb. So I'm going to drag this reverb over here. Take the dry wet level down a bit. I think it's a little bit too much at the moment. And finally, we're going to use a ping pong delay. I'm going to take the feedback down on that. Again, the dry wet level down. I don't want so much of that delay to sound. And we can maybe take a little bit more of that uh, bottom end off the ping pong. Cool, and finally, uh, we can turn this into an instrument rack and uh, I'll make this available to download as well. So I'm just uh, highlighting uh, all these devices here. I'm just going to uh, click on the right mouse button. You can click control as well. And uh, we're going to go to group and that groups them all. And then we can just have a look at the uh, macro controls here as well. First of all, I'm going to name this. So let's just call this major laser synth and uh, we're also going to assign uh, this frequency cutoff to this first macro um, so I'm just going to click on the right mouse button again and map to macro one there we go and you can see it's there and then what we have to do is click on this uh, MIDI assign button here click on that and then we can assign a controller to control that click it off Thank <laughs> you.
So we've got a nice fat sound here. Um, we can go down a couple of octaves and you can see it works as a really nice bass sound as well. So there we have it, our major laser synth. Look at me, I just can't believe what they've done to me. We can At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about the lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response, and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it, and then pushes record on the screen capturing software, and evaluates your work, so basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on a course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.